All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over the one functionality that your CRM absolutely must have. Otherwise you will outgrow it at some point in your you know, business career. And then once that happens, you're going to need to switch over to another CRM, which if you haven't done that yet, it's a huge nightmare because you're basically taking your entire business and trying to copy it over to another program, which they don't want you to do. So they do not make it easy to take your customer information, the pictures, everything else, and put it onto a new program because if they made it easy, well, then you would leave. So if you're using something like Jobber or any other program, like the free ones that don't include this feature, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt when you are looking to scale up your business, okay? So what is that number one thing that you must need? Okay, so Jobber doesn't have it. Um, if you look at Joist and things like that, it doesn't have it. And again, th these programs are not cheap. Okay, so um, I forget this is at least $100 a month at this point. Um, and for most aspects of my business, it was well worth it. But once we scaled up, I can't really use this anymore. So what did I do about it? Well, I looked at all the CRM programs and a lot of them didn't have exactly what I needed. So I built my own. Um, but the number one thing that you need within here is called a pipeline, okay? The pipeline does two things, okay? It helps you organize for your sales staff, and then it also helps organize for your um, overall operations of the business. And let me show you how, okay? So basically what's happening now, if you're not using a pipeline, is you have all these leads coming in, right? So these are all new leads right here, and or actually all of these are leads. But as the leads come in, if you don't have a pipeline, what's gonna happen is you're gonna treat everyone exactly the same. And the problem with that is the needs, you know, at the end of the day, whatever you're trying, whatever your service is, if it's a fence company, a debt company, whatever it may be, if they don't have a very high need for your product or for your service, they're probably not moving forward. You know, even though they called you that day, they might have called you, you know, if you're a debt company, they might have called because they went to a barbecue and they loved a friend's deck and they were thinking about getting a deck themselves. But then once they hear the price, if their need is not greater than that price, well, then they're not going to get it. And if you have a ton of people that are calling you and again, they don't have that high need or you don't know what their need is. Well, at that point you're treating everyone the same and you gotta have a hundred leads in there. And if you're treating them all the same, you're wasting your time on probably 90 of them. So then instead of spending the time that you need on the customers that actually need your product or service, well, you're spending on everyone else. And what's happening is your time spread too thin and then you can't really manage what you're doing. Okay, so that's where our pipeline comes in. You talk to the people, after we do that, we separate them to urgent, moderate, low needs, and people that are just curious about price. And then from there, we know, okay, we need to focus all our attention on these people first because they're much more likely to use our product or service. After we're done with these people, then we move on to here. After we move on to the moderate needs, then we go to the low needs. Then after that, we go to the just curious about price. Because again, these people, this is kind of like the person that went to the family party and they're like, oh my God, that deck's amazing. And then they go to call just because they're curious how much that project would cost. These people are probably never moving forward or not moving forward this year. So that's where we're going to spend all our time on these people. And then also we have it set up with, you know, follow up automations where basically if they're in here for a certain amount of time, then they go in here. So then we need to follow up after we follow up and they don't answer. Well, then we throw them in here. And then if they don't answer within seven days, then they go into the second follow column and so forth and so on. So that's what helps your sales team. Okay, That's what's really going to drive your sales because the money's in the follow up. There's only a handful of people that are moving forward right away and you need to know who and when to um, you know, spend your time and attention with. Okay. The next part where pipelines are super, super important is the overall job pro you know, process. Because unless you're a landscaper and you're just mowing lawns or something like that, it's not a very, you know, it's not a one-off product where, you know, they call you, you schedule the job, you go mow the lawn, you invoice them, and that's it. You know, there's no setup. There's no uh, work that needs to be done before, no work that needs to be done after. So, you know, things like Jobber will work for you. 
But if you start, you know, if you are a landscaper and just mow lawns, but then you eventually get into like pavers or something like that or other additional services that require multiple trips or planning or things like that, things like Java are just not going to work for you. The reason, and I'm going to show you, is the way we work everything is basically the contacts come in. Um, if they, we give them a price over the phone. If they want to move forward, they book their consultation, right? Um, the consultation, we do charge to go out. And then if they do move forward with the project, then it gets rolled over to the price of the project. Okay. So here's the consultation. And then what will basically happen is once they pay for the consultation, then the next step is we schedule it. After we schedule it, then, um, you know, once the consultation is done, then at that point they'll go in here. So then our, you know, project manager knows that she needs to do it. So then after she does the quote, then it goes in the final quote done. Once this happens, then the salesperson knows that they have to reach back out and, you know, basically close the job at that point. Okay. So, um, if, and then if they're stuck in here for a certain amount of time, then they get moved over and so forth and so on. Okay. Then we go into the pre, like the actual installation. So after they approve the job, there's a whole like, you know, set of dominoes that need to happen from start to finish before they can actually get the product or service that you offer. So we have to convert them to a job. We have to invoice them and um, put the budget in. So the budget is the job costing. So if you're not job costing, like you need to do that because you may think you're making X amount, you know, you might think you're making $3,000 on a particular job. But then once you run all the, um, you know, the materials, the labor, everything else, maybe it's only $2,000. And that's a big deal because you think you might only need five jobs a week, but in turn, you might, because your profitability is way lower, you might need like seven or eight jobs to you know make the same amount. After that, um, for us, we have certain emails and contracts that go out. Um, after that, we're waiting on deposits. You know, if we need to order materials, waiting on checks, um, you know, jobs or um, materials that are pending for delivery, if people are waiting for permits, you know, if they're actually ready to go, material ordered, like that kind of thing. So if you have, again, you know, a whole setup process to be able to install, like if you're doing kitchen remodels, whatever else, you need something like this because you may have a superstar employee or just say yourself or spouse or whatever else that does all this stuff for you and actually can run it in her head like my wife can. But if she's sick or if you're looking to grow the business and bring someone else in, well, you need something foolproof so that they know that, OK, I do step one, then step two, step three, step four, step five and so on. And then so at least they know what they're doing. And then also if that person gets sick, well, then you can actually jump in and know what's actually going on. So that's what's super important that your CRM needs a pipeline. Again, if you don't have a pipeline, you're you're just looking for an issue down the line. Um, and that's where, you know, again, our, um, program, the kitchen sink, um, this will be offered at the end of the year, just cause we have a few more tweaks that we're looking to do. And it includes everything you need. It includes the ability to do, you know, estimates and invoices and jobs and job costing and everything else. Um, and the nice part too, is we have this setup where you can actually have it customized to your own business. You know, because not everyone needs the same things. Maybe you're just starting out and you really just need, you know, a scheduler and then basically a pipeline to follow up with like leads, you know, so that's one type of person. But then if you're, you know, growing, and you have multiple sales, uh, you know, people or multiple people answering the phones or whatever else. Well, then you probably want to start tracking your calls and actually be able to listen to the calls to make sure that they're doing the things that they need to do. Right. And then from there, you might need custom reports. You know, for us, this is the snapshot report that we use all the time. And this basically just shows us at a glance, like how many, you know, total leads or qualified leads are coming in, what our closing percent is um, for the consultations, what our job closing is for the, um, for the jobs, like the commission structure for the um, the sales team, the profitability for the company, like it just shows everything. Um, but if there's certain reports, well, then we basically build them for you. So you have exactly what you need, because what happens with most CRM programs is that, you know, you have to adjust your business around the CRM program where you really want to build your CRM around your business. So anyway, hope you found this informative. If you were interested in the kitchen sink program, 
you know, put a note or send an email to support at localprohelper.com and uh, let me know you're interested so I can get you on the waiting list um, because we will be opening this soon to beta users. So that way we get uh, some test guys in here just to make sure everything's working the way it should, that we use this for my own company. Everything's been working great. Um, but yeah, let me know and we'll get you going.